The impact of cybercrime can be far-reaching, fast-moving and devastating for its victims. And there are many challenges for the police when investigating and preventing cybercrime. In response to the heightened cyber threat, police officers are benefiting from specific cyber training to enhance their capabilities and skills. Mary Ann Dixon spent 10 years working as a financial investigator in the police. She then decided to upskill to fight cyber criminals. I'm not technically minded at all. I was terrified. And then my first training course um, with Firebrand, it really intrigued me into the cyber world. And of course, having the financial investigation background just added another layer to that because it comes into dealing with cryptocurrency. And the world needs more Mary Anns. We're doing a lot of this at the moment, investing very heavily in getting the right officers and staff on board with the right skills. The right skills to be able to investigate cyber crimes and also being able to support those victims when they do fall victim to, a, to an attack. The more people we can help understand the risks, hopefully the fewer will become victims in the future. With our phones, emails and social media accounts, we're all potential victims of cyber crime. And with cyber criminals developing new tactics to steal our money and our data, we need to become more security savvy. In England and Wales, fraud and cybercrime make up more than half of all offences. The pandemic saw a rise in numbers as cyber criminals took advantage of more people shopping online and financial help from the government. City of London Police is the national policing lead for economic crime, providing a simple way for the public to report fraud or cybercrime. The force's soon-to-be commissioner, Angela McLaren, believes the police should help people and businesses to easily understand cybercrime. It goes back to demystifying and just appreciating that this is how we live our lives now. So it's really important that our officers have those modern skills, techniques, awareness and knowledge to go about doing their jobs as we would want them to do. And making sure they can give some sort of reassurance to the public when they have become a victim of crime or even more important, preventing it from happening in the first place. 80% of cyber attacks can be prevented through better education and awareness among users. It's hoped regional cyber resilience hubs, led by the police, will help. The important thing about these centres is that they're seen as a collaboration and they bridge the gap between the public sector, policing and importantly the private sector to try and raise awareness and educate people about cyber risk and what they can do to improve their resilience. I think the important thing is how can we work across different parts of the sector to share our skills and experience and do some of our training together. And that's certainly an area of focus for me as I move forward into the commissioner's role. The UK government has classified cybercrime to be a tier one threat to national security. It's estimated it costs the UK £27 billion per year. So the government has set up the Cyber Security Council to improve standards across the industry. Cyber security has become infinitely more important than it was just a few years ago. That means that we have to focus both on prevention and also on making sure that the police in particular have the resources they need to deal with a new kind of criminal activity. There are the resources to uh, prosecute, there are the resources to investigate, there are the resources to see that uh, this new kind of crime is treated with the seriousness that it deserves. And that is a step change from where we've been for some time. There are 43 police forces in England and Wales, but cyber criminals know no borders. North Korea was blamed for the cyber attack that crippled NHS computer systems in 2017. So understanding the likes of cryptocurrency or ransomware attacks is essential across the force. Yeah, you need to upskill people, not just in the cyber crime department. I think there needs to be an awareness across the police force of the basics of cybercrime. Professor Kieran Martin helped to found the National Cyber Security Centre. He says policing is not just about catching the baddies. It's about support to victims. You know, these, these are crimes that harm people, maybe not in the same way as physical crime, maybe not in the same way as a robbery or whatever, but people are hurt, their businesses are disrupted, their lives are disrupted, there's a trauma involved, and policing really needs to get the skills uh, and, and keep improving the skills needed to deal with that. But with big tech companies offering six-figure salaries to fight cybercrime, why join the police? Working in internationally potentially, working with other agencies to help bring down organised crime gangs involved in cyber, I think that's a superb opportunity for a career.